Hey folks, welcome back once again to the Hop House. It's Eddie here. Uh, time for another beer review and we're doing some more Vocation beers to finish off the Vocation Brewery Showcase. You know me, Vocation, I've got loads of their beer. If you're brand new to this channel, however, welcome along to the Hop House. You know the intro by now, but if you are new, if you just happen to be new, then we're like hoppy people like house music, hence the name. If you like either of those or both, give us one of those, give us a like, share, subscribe to this channel. If it's your cup of tea, if you want to, it'll help us out. If not, feel free to watch the video. If it ain't your cup of tea, you can turn off now. It's really up to you, innit? Do you want to see what we're going to review? Okay, um, Vocation then. It was their seventh birthday recently. They did release three special beers from the Life and Death range, one-off specials. I've done the other two, which was a session at 3.5%, and they did a normal strength Life and Death, but hazy edition, making it more New England at 65 Excuse me, pardon me, crikey, I'm going to carry on going, uh, terribly sorry for that, felt good though. Um, so the third one, and I, I was hoping maybe it might be a little bit higher on the ABV than it is, but we'll go with it anyway, I'm really looking forward to this. So it's this, it's Vocation Brewery's Gold Edition of Life and Death in a 440 milliliter can and it's coming in. 7.4% on the ABV, 7.4. It's got the gold can wrap around it. It's got the usual life and death logo. If you only just got into craft beer, you'll recognize this as Vocations logo now. I've got the right in here, but this is the, the t-shirt I'm wearing is a bit of a hybrid t-shirt. So if you didn't know, life and death looks like that now. So you've got the V with the snake and the skulls and that, and it says life and death on it. The old life and death logo, He's right here, baby. So it used to just be a black can with green writing, like that. Now, some people really don't like the new logo. Me, I'm not really fussy. Uh, I'm too much to let's get out into the can. Uh, I'm trying to make my reviews under 10 minutes now because with my phone, it records 4K without moaning about it for 10 minutes. Otherwise, I'm going to record two lots of videos and blend them together. It's a bit of a pain in the proverbial. Right. You be there in the glass, red tint at the bottom of this because it's my missus gin glass, so ignore the red tint. However, you can't really in this because it's quite dark orange. It's quite a similar colour to the Belgian IPA that I've just done, actually. Um, bit of laser vision for those that love the lacing. I know you're out there, I know you watch. Nice. And we'll swirl it around like so, just hopefully so that you can see the bubbles chasing the head. You can use your can in the darker malt of beers. Uh, they use a darker malt for this, probably to amp the ABV up a bit, if I just put it up there. Yeah, it's definitely, yeah, it's definitely like a dark orangey sort of bordering on an amber colour. I'm just trying to see if there's any sort of, any lighter in normal light, but it's not. Even if I look, hold it up to the spotlights up here, it's quite dark. Right, let's go for some aroma, put that into there, let's give it a whiff, see what we can sniff. Ooh, smells quite dank actually, like unripened fruit dankness. Definitely getting like a grapefruit vibe, a lemon and lime vibe from it. It's probably going to be the citra mosaic hopped, so probably going to be from the citra. Tiny little bit of pine as well, it smells pretty good. It smells similar to the normal life and death. Definitely a little bit of unripened fruit dankness. Interesting, right? Bottoms up, down the hatch. Let's give it a try. Oh, crikey. That's beautiful. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start jigging around. I'm going to start two-stepping, two-stepping. Wow. First of all, what a beer. Oh, what a beer. Oh. I was hoping this was going to be good, and it bloody is. I've got another can of it as well. So, uh, we're beginning in November now. I'll just quickly say, a little in a couple of weeks' time, I am going to do a live, uh, I'll put an extra short up about it in the next few days. I'm going to put a live up, um, 
uh, short up, sorry, we'll do a live stream for my second birthday of the channel. And I've got another can of this and I might save it for that. That's gonna that's gonna go up against some of my beer of the year contenders. Oh, the aroma's coming out a bit more now as well. It's fruity, it's hoppy, it's piney. Right, flavours. I need some music on in the background because I need to boogie, I need to move to this. Whoa. The mouth feels soft as a pillow. Beautiful. Soft carbonation. Medium buttering on a thick body. It's 7.4%. It's going to have some clout. It doesn't taste 7.4 though. That tastes about 4.5 to 5, which is why I'm quite excited about it because 4.5 to 5.5% is my ideal ABV range. And although it's out of that ABV range, it tastes like it's in it. Uh, Flavour-wise, oh. Mm. oh, it's so soft, it's beautiful. Oh, it's got a lovely back end as well. It combines the haziness that we got from the, the, the hazy version with the elements and, and spikiness of the original. And the bites at the back of the palate, right at the back here. I love it. So down the middle of the tongue, you're getting that sweet malt. Down the sides of the tongue, you're getting bits of grapefruit, bits of pine. And then it goes quite piney at the back end. It reminds me of a beer I had. Can't remember the brewery. But it's described as pine sap. And that's exactly what I'm tasting in my mouth at the back end. Pine sap. It's almost like... It's that pine needle flavour, but it's a little liquidy. It's not woody. If that makes any sense. That probably makes no bloody sense to anybody. But I'm getting pine sap at the back of my palate. And I'm liking it, people. Yes, what a beer, what a beer, what a beer. Okay. Um, I don't know if you can still get this on Volcage's website. They were doing it as a, as a gift pack of 40 quid where you could get a, a couple of different versions of, of each one and, and a... Life and Death, um, Allegra Glass. So go have a look on vocationbrewery.com, see if they've got any left. I'm gonna pour the rest in and see if there's any floaters. It's that bloody hazy that I can't see anyway, but it'll do when I do the, um, when I do the photo for the, you know, for the video, what they call it. Uh, I've got the name of the thing now. Where you put a photo up instead of just having my face like that. You know what I mean. I just totally forgot my word for it. It's totally left my thumbnail. There you go, thumbnail. Wow. Tell that to uh, pull no punches here. This is all live and it's all 100% genuine. I don't edit my videos. It's not like with technology and I don't know how to. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll take a nice photo of that for the thumbnail. That is beautiful. I'm going to enjoy the rest of that off camera. Right, let's have a look and see what it says on the can then. Ooh, white writing on gold background. I can't actually read that. Cheers, vocation. Uh, our signature classic IPA, hopped with citra and mosaic, brewed with even more malts for an apt-up ABV, more body, and an even punchier resinous finish. Bitter, resinous, citrusy. Uh, we've dialed up the fruit-forward flavours of classic life and death with a bitter bite of pithy West Coast citrus and a deeper resinous glow, followed by a long lingering malty bitterness. The hops of citrus mosaic and then your beer our vocation which it says there at the bottom of every can if you want to read that it should hold up a bit more so you can read it if you really want to there you go uh yeah that is absolutely stunning that is going up against um a couple of other beers my beer of the year so watch out for the live stream that's going to get two thumbs up two feet and i'll stick an ear in there not that i'm into chopping off my own ears i'm not like Mr. Pink of Reservoir Dogs or whatever his name is. Uh, thank you very much for watching. That is absolutely beautiful. If you can still get this on Vocations website, then I suggest you do so. Because that is absolutely sensational. Four limbs out of four, maybe a fifth one. Any of doesn't class as a limb, but you get the idea. Thank you for watching. I'm going to enjoy the rest of that off camera because it's absolutely sensational. Ciao for now, people. Bye.